What's up, guys? This is Kyoto here, and uh, welcome to, uh, well, uh, I guess you could say Ami Ami Hall, but uh, more so kind of miscellaneous because last month, uh, since it's September now, it's been a pretty wild month. Uh, I went to Canada for vacation uh, for like a few days. Uh, I went to Canada again the week after I went to Canada. So I went for, you know, Canada again for Anime Revolution. And then a um, few days ago, I went to PAX West in Seattle, which is a gaming convention for like four days. I only went for like a day or two. So uh, yeah, we are back and I got a lot of cool stuff to show you guys in this haul video. So first thing I want to show you guys are stuff that I got from PAX. So just a little disclaimer here. Uh, PAX West was uh, very interesting this uh, year. Uh, if you guys don't know, Seattle has two convention centers now, so a lot of the conventions that are happening like uh, games, anime, or like pop culture stuff, they utilize two convention buildings, and the thing is like, the convention buildings are not connected or anything, so it's not like an easy walk in a park. It's about like two blocks away, so you have to actually leave the convention center just to go outside to walk two blocks to another newer convention center, so um, yeah, for PAX, it, it was a little weird because it just felt so empty and especially since with a lot of mainstream uh, gaming companies like Sony, Microsoft, Bethesda, like those types of companies pulling out PAX and more so PAX focusing on the indie scene. Um, yeah, it was just very particularly interesting. The main companies that I saw when I was at PAX, like literally for like the day and a half that I attended. Uh, I saw Nintendo, which they kind of did their own thing with a Nintendo Live, uh, where they had their own, I guess, booth or like room uh, just for Nintendo stuff and uh, Bandai Namco that I could think of. But yeah, I mean, I'm kind of glad I didn't go all four days. I was mostly working. So that was a interesting experience of PAX that I'm glad that I did not go. Uh, all four days, but who knows? I might do it next year. Hopefully, more companies do, uh, you know, go to conventions and you know show their games. But you know, ever since like E3 and how companies kind of realized that they don't really need to be at a game convention, it's kind of it, it kind of sucks now these days. I mean, not quite a lie. But uh, enough talk. Uh, I just want to show you guys the cool stuff now, and you know. Pokemon also had their own thing going on, so uh, they were showing off play labs where people could try out the TCG. And um, for the longest time, I never knew how to play Pokemon until now. So uh, after you know trying out the trial, they gave um, us a demo deck, trial deck, which uh, this one I chose. There was like three options: uh, Umbreon with Dark types, uh, Fine types of Lucario, and uh, Water type of Grey Ninja. And you know I'm a fan of the EV evolutions, mostly Espeon and Umbreon, so got a little starter pack deck here in here. And also, trying out the TCG, you also get a nice little cool pin, which this is the starter Pokemon from uh, Violet and Scarlet. I don't know what that is, but I honestly think it is pretty cool. So, got that from the Pokemon Lab at PAX. Uh, this one I also got at PAX as well, or yeah, of course, I'm showing off all the PAX stuff, but this one I got at uh, Bondi Namco, which is a clear bandy, uh, not bandy, a uh, clear fanny pack here of Tekken 8. So if you take a picture of the cosplayers, you show it off, post on so social media, you get a nice cool clear fanny pack, which obviously you can hide your stuff in and have everyone see what's inside so yeah i mean it's still pretty cool i mean Tekken 8 and also i think this is the last thing i remember getting at pax which unfortunately um i wanted more stuff at the atlas booth but they ran out so this is the closest and coolest thing i got which is the tote bag of persona 3 reload uh also you know just taking a picture of Thanos from Persona 3 and just posting on social media. So nice little cool tote bag. Uh, I missed out because uh, they had a little scavenger hunt where you get other cool stuff too, but they ran out on the last day, so I'm gonna get my hands on it. But anyways, regardless, I mean, PAX was very interesting to say at least. All right, next is something I literally just got like half an hour ago. I just went to the mall 
And of course, you guys probably heard if you guys didn't. Uh, Uniqlo is doing a collaboration with Chainsaw Man, so I want to go pick up this. Uh, wow, this is a medium. This feels like a large. But uh, yeah, I picked up a uh, Devil uh, Chainsaw Man. I was about to say Devil May Cry. A uh, Chainsaw Man shirt. I only, you know, got one, which is Makima, because uh, she is my favorite character. Uh, one of my favorite characters, actually. Let me show it again. But yeah. I just got this, uh, I was hoping to find the crew neck, but I guess they only had like just t-shirts, but uh, man, that's crazy though, like, actually, let me, so keeping this in mind, this is a medium, so, like, there's no way this is like, yeah, jeez, this is a medium, that's, that feels huge, huh, like, no joke, that feels like a huge shirt. That has to be a large, but... Alright, so next up in my pickups, I got some manga books that I bought. So here's a stack, so let me just go through a stack with you guys. So all this, I actually got at Half Price Bookstore, so I didn't pay like the full price. So I picked up Volume 11 of Goblin Slayer. Bungo Stray Dogs, the first manga, which I actually want to get this for a while. I wish I would have got this uh, before, pa uh, not PAX, but before Anime Expo because, you know, I met the creator of Bungo Stray, Do uh, <laughs> Bungo Stray Dogs. So it would have been nice to have him sign this. A volume, or both volumes, Volume 1 and Volume 2 of uh, Hall of the Night. Homie Can't Communicate, some, what was it, Volume 25 and uh, Volume 17, so kind of, you know, not in order, but, uh, you know, whenever I see a volume I don't have, I have to pick it up because I'm actually a fan of this series a lot. Like, I know a lot of people probably will not like the Slice of Life, but I actually like Slice of Life series a lot. <laughs> uh, two volumes of uh, Kaguya Sama, or Love is War. And the funny enough about this is I'm actually wearing the shirt of I, uh, I Psycho right now, so. And also, two volumes of Bleach, so yeah, if you guys ever want to get started in your uh, anime collection, I definitely recommend checking out Half Price Bookstore, you can find some uh, really good price, I mean look at this, it's like five bucks right there. Alright, next is the Ami Ami Hall, which honestly, at this point I don't remember anything I ever get from Ami Ami now these days because uh, they come like <laughs> several months later. So, uh, yeah, I honestly just from the, looking at the size of the box, it's probably like a figurine inside. Alright, this I don't think i ever seen yet, which is this month's uh, artwork of the mascots from Ami Ami. So, check it out. But uh, yeah, on to the good stuff. Let's see what we got. Oh wow. So I guess I got another playmat. Right here. So I guess this might be my computer mat for later on when I replace it, but I think it's way too long, so I guess it's a play mat for cards or so later. Oh wow. Uh well, let me just open it up. So of course, some acrylics, uh, of course, favorite girl of all time, Nino right here. This I did not expect. We got a clear acrylic, uh, well, I don't know what you call it, but uh, of the girls wearing, uh, you know, each other's uh, usual. So we got that. <sighs> so I, I will say this right now, this is the last Nanjoid I will ever purchase. Like, hopefully, and promise. <laughs> so, Makima Nanjoid. Funny, because it goes along with that Makima uh, t-shirt from Uniqlo that I just showed off like a few moments ago, so. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to sell my collection all ASAP, but uh, yeah, got another Nanjoid. Uh, this? Oh, I think I got one of those little, uh, whoops, one of those little wall scrolls for the room. But I'm not going to open it because I feel like it would be a pain in the ass to try to put this back, so I'm just going to put it on the side. 
Uh, here. Did I ever really order a mug? No way. I. So I have like several mugs I never opened up in my like, you know, stuff that I got from over the years, and you know I thought I. Oh. Well, this is interesting. So you guys can see. I guess it is still cup at the end of the day, but it is one of those uh, circular ones that I guess you could practically drink it as wine. I might, I don't know, I might not use this as an actual drinking cup. Like, hard to say because just the way it's shaped. So, yeah, I sh why did I buy that again? Uh, let me check to see, is this the last thing in here? I guess, man, this box is just big for no reason then, so... Um, so, remember how I, this is, this is the pre-order bonus of buying this, which is the collector's edition of, uh, you know, Quintus Such a Quintuple game, which, I guess this is a dating sim? I mean, I kinda just bought it on a whim without, you know, thinking, because, you know, it's Nino, Nino on the cover, oh my god, ne and Nino in the back, like, my favorite girl of all time. Uh, actually, just looking at the back right here. This is like from the mobile game of that uh, puzzle game. So, you know, maybe it's a puzzle game, but oh wow. We got some cool like set right here. Like you guys can see like some bonus sets that's included with this, but uh, it's Nino. I mean, oh my God, best girl in the series. Okay, so that was pretty much it for my Ami Ami haul. Um, yeah, not a lot of boxes this time, I guess, you know still being delayed as usual but uh you know going into what i really want to show you guys today which i wanted to save this for the end and this stuff is like really cool if you guys made it to this part but um yeah over at pax uh, my friend finally uh, finally brought in the stuff that he had been wanting to give me for a few years now because he's always been forgetting but he got me some autographs from some Japanese voice actors which honestly I did not expect at all I thought he was going to give me like you know some posters we usually give a, each other like gifts uh, when we see each other but my god like oh to be quite frank uh, I actually don't know many of the what signatures I have to ask him to double check the only one I know whose signature it is because he told me is this one right here which this is signed from the voice actor of Zero Two from Darley and the uh, Darling and the Franks. Or I just call it Darley and the Fran. But that's you know voice actor Zero Two. The rest I had to double check with him because I don't think he remembers, and hopefully he does. So I mean, if one of them is the voice actor Nino from Quintessential Quintuplet, I will absolutely lose my lose my shit because I, literally the one of the voice actors I want to meet one of these days in my life so uh but yeah so some awesome stuff he didn't have to go go out of his way but you know we're he's one of my closest friends so i appreciate michael for doing this for me and uh not only that i got actually more autographs so i went to anime revolution a few weeks ago and my main reason of going was to meet some of the japanese voice actors that were guests there and uh, man that was I will say one little thing, um, and it, I don't think it's a convention's fault, but they weren't able to sign personal stuff, so no like merchandise that you have. Uh, they only allow shikishi boards only, which you know it's a bummer because there is some stuff that I really want to get signed, uh, especially this particular voice actor, which of course you probably will guess from the thumbnail or title. But uh, I'll talk about that in a later bit, but. First, I got to meet the voice actor of uh, Yuzuki from Idol Master, uh, Ayaka Kohashi. So, she is one of the people I really wanted to meet at Anime Revolution because, uh, if you guys don't know, I'm really big into Idol Master and that's one of the series I love playing and just like, you know, I just enjoy that series a lot. So, not only did I get her autograph, I got it three times. So. I got three autographs um, uh Ayaka uh, Hohashi, so, uh, why I, man, I, I really wish they would assign personal stuff, it still 
irks me to this day that it's only Shikishi boards, but regardless, I'm really happy that I got a meter uh, multiple times during that past week. Not only did I meet her, I actually met the voice actor, which you guys might recognize the character, Ichigo from Bleach. So I met the voice actor, Morita, and uh, got his signature right here. And not only that, I, <laughs> I actually got a picture with him as well. You guys want to check right here. So, really awesome guy. Like I said, I... It, just to, you know, put this out here. Um, I think what kind of ruined it with, you know, them only signing Shikishi boards only, if you guys weren't aware. Uh, during Anime Expo, there was so many scalpers that had people cut and just to get his autograph on Funko Pops and like, you know, stuff that they were going to resell on the market. And if you guys go on eBay, just type in Anime Expo, Morita's like autograph signature. People are just reselling it for like $500, $700 you know, whatever profit they can make and, you know, they get people line up with them and try like get all autographs while all fans, you know, that waited and were following the rules. I wish they do better and I wish all the scalpers kind of go hell on this, honestly at this point because they ruined the experience for con goers and this is just me saying it bottom of my heart but fuck scalpers, like, no joke, I hope they get banned from every convention and not allowed anywhere or I wish they banned like Funko Pops or something because literally I think moving on forward a lot of conventions will probably only move, move to shikishi boards and possibly ban like personal items especially Funko Pops and you know this isn't like this is probably one of the biggest issues I mean Funko Pops has been a running issue for a few years now because if you haven't seen like uh, English voice actor I guess they charge more on the Funko Pops than anything else because of that and you know I don't blame them it's really disrespectful it's just people trying to make profit and you know originally this was at comic book conventions now it's happening further from other conventions as well uh, you know other con future conventions as well so it kind of really sucks <sighs> but uh, sorry about that just had to get that off my shoulder and just relay the message so Hopefully we all work together and literally get these scalpers banned off from our convention center. Like they're they're not wanted. But um, anyways, um, I think you know before I show like my, the coolest thing I got out of this whole month or last month. Um, here's a picture of me and uh, Makiko, the artist as well as voice actor. So fortunately I didn't get her autograph, but I did get a cool picture with her that is memorable and. Damn, I just was at the mall, so I wish I would have brought frames. I did not think that through. But this is literally my main reason of why I went to MA Revolution. So, of course, you guys may know I am a huge quintessential quintuplet fan. And um, <laughs> one of the voice actors I really wanted to meet, and you know, I was disappointed because of the whole autograph thing, but regardless, it was wonderful meeting them in person and getting a picture and that is Miku Ito so got some photos with her like regardless like I want to meet all the voice actors of Quintessential Quintuplet like that is my goal in my anime um, career I guess you could say it's not really a career but anime life but god like she's so adorable like, she is really sweet, and this is her autograph, which eventually, I like I said, I just literally just came back from the mall. I should have went to the uh, arts and crafts store, get a frame, frame this, frame the picture, but oh my god. Like, this, just meeting her and just having this photo just makes me incredibly happy. So, you know, I'm glad that I got to meet her and... Uh, you know, um, I guess you could add that in my bucket list that uh, my main goals, like I already just mentioned like 10, like 10 seconds ago, but to meet all the voice actors of the cast of Quince of Central Contoplet, so that is my goal. Alright, so that will pretty much wrap things up for this haul video. If you guys watched it to the very end, uh, I just want to personally thank you guys because yeah, I think I just went over a lot and just ranted a lot. But you know, if you guys did 
you know, agree with my rant, um, I guess put an emoji face on the comments below. But uh, yeah, I mean, man, if the voice actor Nino like is a guest at any of the any of the U.S. conventions, I probably would not hesitate at all of booking a flight in a hotel just to meet her and get her autograph. But uh, you know, right now I have other plans uh, right now that I'm trying to focus on. So uh, maybe you guys will see those plans in the video that I will post later in November. But Anyways, this has been your boy Kyoto. Uh, hopefully, you guys have a wonderful day and uh, keep your safe, uh, keep yourselves safe out there. So, anyways, hope to see you guys in my next video and um, take care of yourselves. Peace.